how about organic chemistry? It is all organized. It is all, you know, sort of follows rules. So it is very so, easy. Yeah. Doing? So if I uh, share my experience, when I was in uh, 11th and 12th, I used to be very fear. I used to have a lot of fear for organic. So that time, uh, um, I mean, uh, many of us have this approach that we just uh, try to remember things like, uh, okay, this will react with this. This will give me water plus some salt and all. But uh, after that, when I uh, was doing my ma- masters and my like, in my I was in my bachelor. So when I was pursuing chemistry, that time I just uh, uh, got this uh, that uh, in organic also it has some inside rules like uh, you know, not everything will react by themselves. They have to have some uh, pre force which are compelling them to react. Like they are having some lone pair or. Uh, uh, vacant uh, shells that they will fill each other and have their octet to uh, f- fulfill and then they will have some salt which is more stable than so that is the things that we uh, uh, as a 12th or 11th student we just uh, keep that aside and we just uh, are more focused on to the uh, product side but we don't get uh, actually what is happening there so for any student if they uh, get the concept like what what is actually the driving force between the reaction I think that will be uh, much more help helpful for them to actually get the mechanism of that each reaction. So for organic, uh, when I was in my master, I actually uh, read uh, two, three books. Mm-hmm. And uh, that time it was very much helpful to uh, write any mechanism for each year. 